Today's math strategy video is on multiplying fractions in word problems. So we're going to look at our first example right here. I encourage you to use models, um, either a, uh, a model or a number line, in order to solve these problems. So you'll have a better understanding of what it looks like to multiply fractions. So our example problem here says Janie has two and three-fourths yards of yellow ribbon. She uses one half of the ribbon to decorate bookmarks for her cousins. How many yards of ribbon did Janie use for the bookmarks? Okay. So I'm going to use this little model down here, and I'm going to, what, before I do anything, I'm going to show this two and three-fourths. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to break this into, uh, since I have more than two, I'm going to go ahead and do like a zero, oh, I want to have blue, not red. I'm going to do zero to three, so I'm going to break this like that. So I have zero, one, two, and then... I have three fourths right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shade in our yellow ribbon. So we have two and three fourths. Now, whenever you're creating a model, I encourage you to go back. And so now that we've made two and three fourths, I encourage you to break all the holes also into fourths. So whatever, when you have a frat, when you have a mixed number like this, um, whatever the denominator is, I would just break it all up into fourths. So I'm going to break this first hole. I'm going to break it into fourths. Then I'm going to break this next hole. I'm going to break it into fourths. So now I should have 11 fourths. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 fourths. Now also, um, if you think about two and your teacher might have showed you this two uh, changing and mixed number into an improper fraction. So two times four is eight plus three is 11 fourths. But all I'm doing is breaking every, breaking each hole and this portion showing the three fourths, showing it all as a, as sets of one fourth. Okay, so I'll, what I want to do is say she uses a half of the ribbon. So I know that she's, do not get this confused with a subtraction problem. What I'm doing is two, oh, that was a bad two, <laughs> two and three fourths. And I'm finding the value of one half of, half of the ribbon. So that means to multiply. Now, this is going to be a little difficult to find half because I have 11. <laughs> I don't, can't break 11 and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break each of these sections in half. And this will, this, this strategy will work with any, any problem that you, any two uh, fractions that you're multiplying. Okay, so now that I've broken each set of 11 and a half, um, can you guess how many I have now? Well, 11 times 2 is 22. I broke each into two pieces. So I will have 22. So now I know that 11 is actually half. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 right here. This represents half. So I have 11 out of, now my, remember, my denominator has changed. So right here is a whole. Here's where my first one is. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because if you remember, I took my fourths and I cut them into half. So when I'm doing that, I'm multiplying also. And that gave me eights. So now I have um, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I thought that wasn't right. I counted. I miscounted. Let me redraw this. So here is that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is the eleven mark. So I have eleven eights, 
or I have one and one, two, three eighths, one and three eighths. So that is what that looks like multiplying a, a mixed number by a fraction on a model. Let's look at another example. Okay, this says Mr. Guerrero is painting his deck to get ready for the summer. He painted an area that is three and one fifth meters long and two thirds meters wide. How many square meters of deck are painted? Okay, so area tells me that I'm multiplying. So this tells me that part of it is three and one fifth meters long and then two thirds meters wide. So two thirds three and one fifth long, two thirds meters wide. So that, that tells me I'm going to be multiplying these together. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of draw this model right here and then we're going to talk about it. So I'm going to divide this into four sections. So this is zero, one, two, three, and then I'm going to divide this as best I can. Ooh, into fifths. So his paint is deck ready. His he painted. Okay, he's so he's painted. So I'm gonna represent three. three and one fifth here. All right, so three and one fifth. Okay, so now I'm gonna divide this into two thirds on the side, so. Okay, so two thirds would be here, 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 And then all of these pieces. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here, here, okay so this would represent two-thirds. Okay so it wants to know how much has been painted okay so without do like doing um a whole lot of math um i kind of want to think about move that out of the way just a second so we can see both colors i want to think about what what colors are overlapping so i have here these shaded and these shaded okay so imagine that i but these make a whole imagine that i move this red and I moved it, oh, let me make it in actual red. Let's imagine that I moved this red up here and I moved this red up here as well. That would mean I'd have two holes. And so that would leave this section just green. So now I have two and let's see, I have these two, oh, let me pick another color, you can see it. This and this, these two pieces have been painted out of this new fraction right here. So this is, um, what are these divided in three? There's three sections of one fifth. So that should be fifteenths now, right? And I have two out of, 15 that has been painted. So two holes, two meters, and two fifteenths have been painted. Um, that leaves me with, let's see, two and two thirds meters. Oh, sorry, two and two fifteenths meters. So um, three and one meters long, two thirds, so two meters and two fifteenths meters have been painted. 
All right, so that tells me the whole section. So moving these pieces out here gives me a better idea of um, what actually had been painted instead of me having to count up and break all of these into fifths. So that is the end of today's math strategy video.